Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this cute pastel light bulb illustration. Let's start. Let's make a new canvas. A4 canvas from Procreate. And here is the color palette I'll be using, you can download it, link is in the description. And first we're going to color the background. So to do that let's go to the layers. Tap on the background color and take this one. Tap on done. And now on the first layer we can start drawing the light bulb shape. Let's pick the color. Take this one. And let's pick the brush. Let's go to calligraphy and take monoline brush. We have the brush size 35. We can draw a circle like this. Hold your pencil on the screen and now put your finger on the screen to make this a perfect circle. Let's use the arrow tool. And with the uniform option selected here and snapping turned on, we can move it to the middle of the canvas. It will snap in there. Let's tap here to finish. And now on the new layer we are going to draw the top of the light bulb. So let's make that layer. And we are going to use here the symmetry tool. Let's go to the actions menu. Go to canvas. Turn on drawing guide. And then tap on edit drawing guide. At the bottom pick symmetry. And in the options make sure vertical is selected. Tap on done. And let's draw the top of the light bulb like this. Try to connect it smoothly with the circle. So now to fix this shape we are going to use the eraser. Let's tap on it again and set it also to monoline brush. And with the brush size 100% we can just erase this part here. And now let's open the circle layer and erase it here like this. Now we can merge those layers together. So let's tap on the layer number 2, tap again and pick merge down. So now this is just one layer. If you are enjoying this video so far and would like to draw more of me, please check out my Patreon where I have more tutorials like this. Link is in the description. Let's duplicate this layer now, so swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. And we are going to make this smaller. Let's take the arrow tool and make it smaller like this. And then move it so it will be in the middle of the other shape and a little bit here above it. Tap here to finish. And now we can draw here an arc. Let's take the eraser now and erase the parts we don't need to see, so everything above the arc. And we are going to change the color of this outline. So let's open the layers, tap on this layer here, pick select. And here at the bottom make sure that color fill is turned on. And we can pick the color. Let's take this one. Now let's make a new layer for the top of the light bulb. Let's pick the color. Take this one. And here we are going to use also the symmetry tool. So let's tap on this layer and turn on drawing assist. Let's draw here something like this. And now a small arc here on top. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And 
And now let's turn off the drawing assist. And we can draw here a few lines, like that. Let's also draw here a line going up, like this. Hold your pencil and screen. You can put your finger here to make this vertical. And I'll make it a bit thicker. Okay, now we're not going to use the symmetry tool anymore. We can turn it off. Let's go to the actions menu and just turn off the drawing guide. And we can start coloring this. Let's color this part first. To do that, we can tap on this layer and set it to reference. Let's make a new layer and move this underneath that reference layer. Let's pick the color now. Take this one and drag and drop it in there like this. Now we are going to add some color inside of this. Let's open the layers and set this layer to alpha lock. This way we are going to draw only on this shape that is on the layer. Let's change the color. Take this one. And let's change the brush. Let's go to airbrushing and take soft brush. Let's make it smaller, 3% and draw some lines here like that. Now let's color this water. Open the layers, tap on this layer here and set it to reference. Make a new layer and put it under the reference layer. Let's pick the color, take this one and drag and drop it in there. Let's add some gradient here. Let's set this layer to alpha lock and change the color. Take this one and we can make the brush a little bit bigger, 7% and add it to the top of the shape like that. Now we are going to color the light bulb. So we have to set the layer of the light bulb to reference. Tap here and set it to reference. Make a new layer and put it underneath the reference layer. Let's pick the color now. Take this one and color this inside. This layer and the outline for the light bulb should be actually above the layer with the water. So let's put it here like that. And now tap with this filling of the color. And we are going to erase the middle of it. Let's take the eraser, tap on it again. And set it to soft brush from airbrushing. Let's make the brush size bigger now. 21%. And erase the whole middle like this leaving some of the color on the edges. Now we are going to draw here a very simple boat. Let's make a new layer for this. And let's move this so it will be on top of the water outline here. Let's change the color. Take this one and change the brush. Let's go back to calligraphy and monoline brush and draw here a very simple shape like that. Now straight line going up and two triangles on the sides. I'm going to move it to the middle of the canvas. And now I want the top of this outline to have different color. So I'm going to set this layer to alpha lock. 
and I'm going to change the color to this one. And with a bigger brush, 100%, I'm just gonna go over those lines here like this. And now we can start coloring this inside. So let's set this layer to reference, make a new layer and put it underneath the reference layer. And here to color this, we are going to take this color and for the bottom part of the boat, let's take this color and let's add some gradient there now. So first we have to set this layer to alpha lock. And now let's take this color. Let's change the brush to soft brush. And with a very small brush, 3%, we can add it here at the bottom part of the boat. And now for this, let's change the color. Take this one. And let's add it here at the bottom part. And maybe a little bit here on the side. Now let's draw a sun. Let's make a new layer. And let's move this layer above the outline for the boat. Let's pick the color. Take this yellow one here. Let's go back to the Moline brush back to size 35 and we can draw here a circle like this and now some sun rays Let's color this inside. So let's set this layer to reference. Make a new layer, put it underneath it. And take this color. And we are going to add here some more color. So first let's set this layer to alpha lock. Pick the color, this one. And go back to the soft brush. Let's make the brush size bigger now, 6%. And I'm just going to color here the bottom part of it. Like that. Now I want to erase this part here. So I'm just going to do it manually with the eraser. And I'm going to set the eraser to monoline. And now for the outline. Okay, and I would like to still adhere some clouds. Let's make a new layer for this. Change the color to this one. Go back to monoline brush here. And draw some simple clouds. Let's color them inside, so set this layer to reference, make a new layer and put it underneath that reference layer, pick the color, this one, and color them inside. Let's add some gradient here, set this layer to alpha lock, pick the color, this one, and change the brush back to soft brush. And here I'm going to color the bottom part of them. And again we are going to erase it here. And now the outline.
Now we're going to add some reflection on the light bulb. So let's make a new layer. And let's move this underneath the layer of the outline for the light bulb. Pick a color, this one. And let's change the brush. Let's take medium brush. And with the brush size 4%, we can just add some reflection like this. Now we are going to add here some shadow. Let's make a new layer for this. Move it all the way to the bottom of the layers. Let's pick the color. Take this one. And let's go back to the soft brush. And with the brush size 7%, just draw here an ellipse shape like this. And now at the end, to make this illustration more cute, we are going to add some things to the background. Let's start with adding some color. Let's make a new layer for this. Let's change the color. Take this one and with the soft brush and bigger brush, 13%. We can kind of draw here like a swirly line like this. Now we are going to change the blending mode of this. So let's stop here and set this to overlay. And I want this to be visible just a little bit. So I'm going to turn on the opacity here to 70%. Now let's add some stars to this illustration. Let's make a new layer on top of everything. And let's pick the color. Take this one. And here I'm going to use my brush from my stamp brush set. Starry sky. If you're interested in those brushes, the link is in the description. And here with the brush size 36%, I'm just going to draw like a swirly line here too, like this. And now we're going to change the blending mode of this layer. We can set this to add. And if you want to have this effect a little bit stronger, we can duplicate this layer and turn down the opacity of this. Let's set this maybe to 50%. And now one more layer. This layer we're going to set to overlay. And now let's pick the color. Take this one. And let's go back to the soft brush. And with the brush size 18%, we can also draw here like a swirly line. And this way we're adding here some more color. Let's turn down the opacity of this layer. So it's not too strong. Let's make it 55%. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share your drawing with me on my Instagram. I would love to see it. And now I have a special shout out to my big fan supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for being there with me. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!